Everybody watching this video, you have exactly three seconds to drop a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you don't, your girlfriend will never, ever want to see you ever again. She will break up with you and you will never ask out your crush. And if you do ask her out, she will never date you. So I would go ahead and like and subscribe right now to the channel. Yeah, sorry for that really cancer intro. Gotta do a little bit of the clickbait action. But anyway, guys, I know I haven't uploaded in almost two weeks. And I'm gonna explain that towards the end of this video. So just stick around to the end of the video if you guys wanna know why I have been gone for as long as I have. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. So today, we're gonna be going over the best. And I mean the best. No one's ever beaten this, alright? Black Ops 3 leveling up strategy. Now, you might be thinking, this game's over five years old. Why does anybody need help? Well, there's still a lot of people that play this game that may have just gotten it or that never actually hit level 1000 Master Prestige or, you know, even gotten close to Master Prestige itself. I'm one of them people. You guys would think I'm Master Prestige because I play zombies literally every day. That is not true. I'm only Prestige 9 almost and I never actually got Master Prestige. Reason for this, okay? I quit playing the game, took a break from the game and all that type of stuff because it was an old game. But here recently I've been playing Black Ops 3 a lot. So if you guys want to see some more zombies videos of older Black Ops 3 maps, not just custom zombies. I haven't done that in a while either. Then I'm probably going to be doing that here soon. But I have a strategy for you guys today and it's a pretty good one. Now we're going to go ahead and just jump into this. You're going to want to need the map ascension so you're gonna need zombie chronicles the zombie chronicles dlc if you guys do not have the zombies chronicles dlc i'll probably make a follow-up video on another map that you guys could do this little strategy on but ascension is the best map to do this on now you guys might be thinking oh ascension come on map shit i agree okay ascension it's not a great map on black ops 3 i'd rather go ahead and play it on black ops 1 but doing this strategy, you guys do not have to worry about turning the power on, worrying about the space monkeys, none of that nonsense. You guys do not have to worry about it. So this strategy, you basically just need perkaholic, you know, soda fountain, anything you can get extra perks with. Now, think about this. You cannot turn the power on. So if you're going to use anything other than perkaholic, you're not really going to be able to do anything with this. Now, you can use raindrops because you do get free perks from raindrops. But anything to keep you from turning the power on. Perkahal is easily the best choice. If you guys don't have it, you could potentially use Soda Fountain, like I said, but you're only going to be getting a maximum of two perks per game, so you might have to restart her dashboard a lot just so you could get Juggernaut and Quicker Bud together. It's going to be tough, but I just recommend using Perkaholic. And you're going to need other gobble gums like Immolation Liquidation. I didn't have that in my set for this gameplay, as you guys could see, but I did have self-medication, you know, aftertaste, Anything to help you stay alive. Now, you can get to the round 40s, 50s, 60s doing this strategy. I got to round 38 with at least two or three downs. It's a pretty good strategy for Ascension. So you're going to want all of those gobble gums, just things to protect you and all of that stuff. Now, this is essential. You need wall power. You cannot do this strategy without wall power, I repeat. You, you can't do it. Now, if you're a stupid idiot like me and you don't have crate power and you only have one wall power, you know, it's a little bit harder to do this strategy. But essentially you want wall power, crate power, perkaholic, you know, double points, anything to keep you alive, any type of gobble gum that you can keep alive with. I recommend using In Plain Sight because it's free and you never run out of it. And In Plain Sight is honestly a lifesaver. I use that gobble gum more than any other gobble gum in the game. I love in plain sight, so you're gonna want to use that. And really, the strategy is just basically it's simple. What you want to do, guys, is pick the RK5 or the Shiva. It doesn't really matter which one. And you want to wall power that thing. You want to pack punch the fuck out of that boy. You know, you want to get that boy ready. And also, I forgot you need bullet boost as well. So if you guys have bullet boost, put that in your list of gobble guns. If you guys do not have bullet boost, don't worry. You could do this without it. It would just be a lot easier. You might not get to the higher rounds without it. If you guys don't know what bullet boost is, it basically gives you double pack-a-punch without actually pack-a-punching a second time. And I have a lot of those, at least I think 16 of them. So I do have a lot of bullet boost to use and essentially you want dead wire, you know, blast furnace fireworks, all the good shit. You guys know which ones to use. So yeah. Now do keep in mind that you do not have to sit in the spawn room to do this strategy. You can go anywhere you want. You can go to any of the landing sites. You can go anywhere. It doesn't really fucking matter. You just can't turn the power on. Okay. That's just pretty much the number one rule of this whole strategy is don't turn the power on. And the reason for this, you guys should know, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's the damn space monkeys. Them fuckboys are just going to come and wreck your shit. So yeah, leave the damn power off, alright? And 
I understand, you know, Parkaholic's like, damn, you know, I don't really want to use Parkaholic. I'm telling you guys, this strategy will 100% make up for it. And if you're not really trying to go for high rounds, you're just trying to level up, get some XP, you can easily just dash for it at a certain round and keep all of your perks. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically... I'm not sure how it works on PS4, but on Xbox, you pause your game, press the Xbox home button, then hit quit game, and you will keep all of your gobble guns. Everyone should know this by now, but I'm just clearing that for the people. They have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. You guys should know how to do this now. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter where you're at, but for me, if you're watching this gameplay right now, you can see that I'm training in the spawn room around the little first landing pad or lunar, whatever the fuck these things are called. I have no idea. I don't play this shitty map. Whatever these things are called. You don't want to train around that, and like I said, wild power the Shiva, that's what I do. You could do the RK5, that's what I did in the first gameplay. But honestly, if you could do both, if you could wild power both, I would do it. Now, if you guys can try to get Mule Kick, or you know, if you have Perkaholic, you're going to have Mule Kick, you're going to want to get a third gun. Now, what I would do is potentially keep the RK5 as a point gun, but you guys can wall power it. It's up to you completely. It might keep you alive longer, because the Shiva, it, the damn thing's pretty shit, right? You probably don't want the Shiva. But, it is on the wall right next to you, but what I do is I get the Shiva, wall power it, put bullet boost in that bad boy, then go pick up the RK5. Boom, point gun, right there. Then you're gonna want to go to the box. This is what I did in the gameplay. It took me at least 20, 30 minutes. I'm not even kidding. It was around 15 before I got the Ray Gun Mark II. You're gonna want a power weapon. All right. I think the Thunder Gun's on this map. I have no idea. You're gonna want the Thunder Gun. I know the Ray Gun Mark II is on this map. You're gonna want a good ass gun that can fuck some shit up. You're gonna want all that. Right. And that's pretty much it. You just train in the spawn room, you know, try to survive, get in plain sight, you know, stuff to keep you alive for longer. You know, self-medication and all that. Now, this is a good leveling up strategy because you're going to be lasting through the rounds a lot longer and potentially getting more headshots and all of that stuff, which in return will give you a fuck ton of XP. This video is more of a high round idea than a leveling up strategy. Now, you guys have probably have seen this video on YouTube before, but, you know, I added my own twist to it and how this could work a lot better. Most people just say, you know, turn on the power, then train in the spawn room. Nah, fuck that shit, boy. We're not turning the damn power on. Fuck the space monkeys. We don't like them shits. So, yeah, that's going to be the video. It was probably a quick one, but I hope this strategy helps everybody out. And, yes, I know I'm really late to the damn game. It's been at least five years now. But fuck Black Ops 4, the game's a piece of shit. Not making any videos on that. It sucks ass, and I will be making more Modern Warfare videos, Warzone, that shit's fun as hell. So you can definitely be seeing some of those here soon. Anyway guys, it's Iroh, I'm out. Peace.